welcome back to my channel. It is Tamara Latrice. And today I'm coming to you guys to talk about the journey that I talked about on my last episode. Um, me, I'm currently on a journey of intentional living. If you do not know what intentional living is, it is when you take full responsibility for every action you make. <laughs> Um, and when you're acting in your pur purpose and living in your purpose, um, and not in the purpose that, um, oh, this is just what I want to be doing or whatever. So today I'm going to share with you guys three ways that I am actually, um, starting my intentional living journey and just things that has helped me, um, in the past few months, um, as I've been on this journey. Okay. So the first thing I would say, um, to develop personal health. If you're gonna be intentional about what you're doing, how you're living, um, what you want out of life, what you want in the future, you definitely have to develop personal health. And when I'm saying personal health, I'm not just speaking on, of course, everyone know that I'm, well, if you don't know, I am a nutritionist um, by day, makeup artist by weekend or whenever, <laughs> but, I'm not just talking about um, your health as far as what we see on the physical realm. I'm talking about what we see internally. So I would say there are four key areas when you're focusing on your personal health. And those are spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. If you get these four aligned, um, I'm telling you, you'll be at such a better place um, and you'll be able to actually operate in your purpose, literally. Um, and I'm not just saying this just to say it or this is just something I've heard. This is something I've done. This is something that I'm doing. This is something that I know that works. Um, so this is not a, um, oh, give me an emotional high for just right now. And tomorrow I'm feeling depressed again. Or tomorrow I'm back bench eating again. So number two is to pay off all debt um if you um have any spiritual beliefs or if you believe um or if you follow the bible i'll just say that um we all have the right to our creator i've discussed that before um i do believe in the bible i do believe in the holy spirit um but the bible actually talks about paying off your debt that's number two that's my second step towards intentional living um the bible talks a lot about paying off debt the bible talks a lot about money um and a lot of people get it misunderstood that the bible states that money is the root of all evil that is not what the bible says <laughs> um number three my third tip will be to downsize go into smaller living because at that point you have less to focus on you don't have to worry about oh i'm trying to pay this bill and pay this rent and keep up with this and keep up with that and then you all over the place owing this person and owing that person and at the end of the day you don't own nothing let me say that again you don't own nothing so my whole purpose of um actually doing this intentional living journey because all my life i've had ups and downs of depression anxiety um man dealing with so much on the physical realm to the point where y'all <laughs> when i say to the point where i i had mentally and emotionally crushed myself so bad so bad and i didn't even know it i didn't even know it and it took me a long time to really really figure this thing out as far as um my purpose and as far as what god wanted me to do or what he wanted out of me so to dig deeper into developing personal health actually i was introduced to this um the four key areas i was introduced to this when i took a health coaching um course about a year ago and the health coaching course um really really dug deep into like why people deal with so much and why like say for instance like i was struggling with weight loss 
I was struggling with eating habits. Um, and I mean, it's always been like an on and off thing. Like I would get on a diet and then be on a diet for like a week or so. And then after that, I'd be like, nah, this diet ain't for me. I ain't got time for this. I'm about to go get me a bag of chips. <laughs> and like, I just wanted something or I, I wanted to experience something that could help me not just on the physical realm but to dig deeper into why i was binge eating or why emotionally i felt like a wreck or why um spiritually i would like i would read the bible but i i like i wouldn't get a good understanding like i would be like what is this actually saying like what is this um and it wasn't until Y'all don't mind me bothering my hair. But um, it wasn't until I actually, um, like, I had to get to my lowest point. I got to my lowest point where I honestly, I didn't even know, like I told y'all on the last episode, I didn't even know how to pray anymore, y'all. Like, I like I didn't, <laughs> I'm not going to say I didn't know how to pray. Like I said last time, like, I just didn't have the words to say to pray. And me taking that course um that i took with the health coaching journey like when i say um i was on a really really good path and um my mom got sick and so i ended up stopping the course and i um kind of just waved from it because i was focused on focusing on so much other stuff like i ended up moving from one city to another and ended up starting a new job and like trying to help my mom and all this sorts of things but yeah so um this past march i actually when i say i got to my lowest point like i got to my lowest point y'all like i found out that i was expecting a baby and yeah it was so unexpected and i will tell anybody like man when i tell you it was like the devil it was like the enemy was just on me on me and i was like what is this like i just you know i had to just literally pray to my creator and ask him like what is it that you want from me what is it that you want from me it took me several months several months of depression anxiety um me I felt like my life was over. I felt like my life was over. After the creator gave me strength to be able to actually put words together to pray again, y'all. Like, y'all, things started coming together for me. Like, I've always had a passion for um, digging deeper into women and helping women actually be able to discover their true purpose and to live in their true purpose. And for me, I've always wanted to balance out my life not saying to live a perfect life but to balance out my life to have some type of intentions about life and i just started doing more research on intentional living and i saw how much more like happier these people were and people that actually practice this and literally um made made sacrifices and put in the time to actually dig deeper into themselves like you i saw how happier they were and these people were not people that had it all or had the perfect bodies and this and that and that but they were happy and overall i just wanted to be happy um and i started to dig deeper into the creator and you know studying my word and when I say it just all came to me, um, and that's why I believe that the creator is pulling me closer and closer towards what I was studying from the beginning, and that's health coaching. Um, and that will give me the opportunity because I love to enhance women, um, and not just on the physical realm. Um, every time I have had a client to sit in my chair, any client that I've ever dealt with, sitting in my chair is like a therapy session. I can speak through anybody. Literally, I can speak through anybody. I can look at you and speak through you. Like this is the gift that God has given me. 
and it is so amazing um some people will find it scary but it's so amazing how i'm able to speak through other people and able to uplift other people to bring them out of like things that i've been through and after it's all said and done like a lot of us put ourselves through so much because we have lack of confidence we have la lack of self-esteem um we've been beat up so much and not just physically but emotionally people have told us things that has that have hurt us to our core i mean hurt us to our core and we've lived with those things without forgiving um and these are the things that i have overcome and i really 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 would love to help some other women do the same as well and as i reflect back on like my personal experience with health coaching like i currently i have a self-care coach which is something similar to a health care a health coach um in a way but a self-care coach basically focuses on um but it mainly just focuses on um things that you can do actual self-care strategies that you can actually put in place um and just that coaching alone has helped me so much um and i believe that everybody should have or right, each and every person should have someone who's guiding them along the way um simply because we deal with so much and we're not meant to go through things alone like we're meant as human beings we're meant to always um to connect with other people and some people like i used to like i used to say that i was super introvert or i used to say that like i don't fool with different people or i don't have many friends it's not that and that and i had to learn um that although I don't have as many friends, like God was placing boundaries between what he wanted for me and what he did not want for me, if you follow. And sometimes you'll feel like, that'll make you feel like you are introverted because you're being pulled away from things that are no longer you. And that's okay. So focusing on my main key areas have really really helped me to see and helped me to understand that man all along when i was thinking that i couldn't overcome depression i couldn't overcome anxiety i couldn't overcome overeating like all along the only thing the creator wanted me to do was to pull closer to pull closer and become aligned and anybody knows or if you don't know i want you to know once you put the creator in the front and stop trying to do everything have your hands on everything and do everything yourself everything else is gonna come together everything and when i say now i feel so much more at peace with myself um i feel so much more at peace my confidence is no longer destructive um man my peace is no longer destructive i know how and i've learned how to set boundaries and when to set boundaries like you have to do these things you have to know these things and you have to put in the work and when you put in the work like you will see so much like you will see such a big difference in your life but anyway um on to number two so the second thing um or the second way that i am planning to live intentional is to pay off all debts like i said earlier um your relationship with money explains everything about you about your character um and once again from a spiritual aspect the bible speaks a lot about money and not that the money is the root of all evil like people here that's not true go read the word for yourself um because the bible states that the love of money i repeat the love of money 
is the root of all evil. It's nothing wrong with wanting to have more. It's nothing wrong with developing, um, developing revenue to be able to make more money. But at the end of the day, you have to know how to manage money. You have to know what to do with money. And if you're not doing the right thing with the money, it makes like it makes no sense to make money. <laughs> and definitely, if you're living in debt and you owe John, Bill, and Sam, and Paul, how will you ever be free? How will you ever be at peace financially? And the Bible speaks a lot about that too, paying off your debt. So you will be a slave to no one. I ain't nobody's slave. And that's my whole purpose of paying off my debt. Because when I decide to leave my nine to five job, which is going to be very soon, once the good Lord bless me to be able to do that, like, I don't want to have to worry about, oh, I got to pay this off and I got to pay that off. Oh, and I still owe this person. No. Um, and so a way that I'm doing this is I'm following Dave Ramsey. If you haven't heard of Dave Ramsey, he's a really good financial advisor. Um, now I don't agree with everything <laughs> and every way he go about doing things, but he do have some really good strategies. And one of the, um, one of his most common strategies or one of his most common techniques to getting out of debt is the baby steps baby steps have actually allowed me to be able to set up a debt-free plan which i'll share with you guys on another video but at the end of the day when you don't owe nobody that's freedom like you're financial free when you do not owe anybody <laughs> yes i say <said>, empty <laughs> and my third way of intentional living um, that I'll be doing and that we're working towards is the surprise I have for you guys and what I told you guys I will share with you all on the next episode and our main reason for doing this for my family and I taking this big big step and stepping like way outside the box um, and this is something that I have become very very like passionate and it's like i'm obsessed with it <laughs> um so our big announcement is that we're going full-time stationary rv living y'all i'm so <laughs> like this is something that i i kind of came up on stumble upon this maybe like um a year or so ago and I was like man there's no way we could be able to do this like with kids and this and that and that but I see so many people out here doing it with several children several children so I'm like they could do it I could do it you could do it anybody can do it um and at the end of the day the sky's the limit you can do whatever you put your mind to but our main reason for going full-time RV living is to one, get out of debt. Two, rent free. Like I am so over paying rent and paying folks my money and losing my money. I don't know what to do. Like I have been renting for the last, what, six years of my life. I could have had a house built by now, a house like with my own land much as i didn't pay other people but number three is for us to be able to travel more like um getting an rv we're gonna pay full price for it so it'll be ours um unlike paying rent every month and it still ain't yours does that ring a bell <laughs> so i mean it just makes so much better sense and we can crank up an rv any day and head out go wherever it is that we want to venture to our fourth main reason for um rv living is to eventually set ourselves up to be able to work remotely to be able to spend more time with our family spend more time with our kids um and so that we can actually show our kids that there's another way of life other than the norm what they tell us that we have to do like it's so crazy that 
so many people, so many people fall into the trap, never come out of it. Like, I'm so over it. <laughs> We're so over it. Um, so, those are the three um, ways that I am practicing intentional living. And I really do appreciate you guys for taking out the time, y'all. My nose is itching because I'm sitting outside and the wind blowing. I don't know. Something like, I don't know. But anyway, I do hope that like something that I have touched on on this episode has touched you and has helped you and could help you. And if it's any way that I could be of, assist of assistance, um, if you just want to know more information on intentional living or um you want to get more information on how i'm following by um paying off my debt um and even my journey of downsizing and our plans to downsizing um if there's any questions um anything you guys would like to share with me anything that you may know maybe you're out there and you're already on this journey go ahead and leave me a comment down below so that i can connect with you so you can connect with me um i'm a very open person and i love meeting new people <laughs> i love meeting new people um who are on the same path as i am um and i think that's about it i think that's it for today i do hope that if you are not currently um focusing on your four key areas of your personal health i I would say that it is a good place to start if you're dealing with anything that I've discussed in this video. Um, definitely focus more on your four key areas. First, definitely get your spirit right. <laughs> get your spirit right, man. And when you get your spirit right, everything else will align. Um, but until next time, you guys. Until next time, so you guys continue to take this journey with me. And as we continue to prepare for baby and as well as continuing this journey, you guys, I will be sharing more and more things with you all um, as time progresses. So stay tuned for that. It's a bug flying, y'all. I thought it was a waltz. Um, I don't play waltz. <laughs> but until next time, you guys, love, light, and peace.